Hello grooming lovers, today we have this sweet Bichon male, he's a young dog, he's like uh, 6 months old, but he has never, never been groomed, you can see he is matted, his hair is long, he is scared because he's never been to a groomer, this is his sister, you can see all mats, mats, his ears are terrible and it's probably going to be very unpleasant for him to pull this hair out but I'm not going to do it like a first thing because this is all new to him I don't want to stretch him out at the beginning I don't even want to cut his nails at the beginning I just want to let him smell the clipper because I'm going to start with that. Just pat him with the clipper. You can see there is no blade on. Just to let him, sh to just to show him that I'm not doing anything that can hurt him, anything unpleasant. Good boy. I think that he's going to be a good boy, that he will not be aggressive. Okay, he seems fine, so I'm just going to find a place where he's not matted. Sadly, it is his first groom, but I have to shave him because he is matted. But it's not the end of the world. Guys, this is bad. It is very bad to get a dog to a groomer when he is like six or seven months old. And this guy is like that. Because you have to get the dog used to grooming when they're young. And this guy have, haven't been brushed probably at all. So that is also bad. He's not used to brushing. Luckily, he cooperates, I mean, for now. Hopefully, he'll stay that way. But it is bad. It gets stressful for the dog when they're not used to that. So... So people, when you buy a dog, please start brushing the dog very, very soon. I mean, you don't have to brush it the first day, the first day that the dog gets home because he will be a little scared. Everything is new to him, and you don't want to brush him the first day. But like after a few days or one week, after he gets to you, you should start brushing him. And please don't tell me my dog doesn't like it, it's too stressful and something like that. It's something that has to be done. No excuses, guys. You can see his private area is also massive and dirty. And that girl is also sweet, also scared, it's new, everything here is new to her too. 
My biggest concern are the ears because they have so much hair in there and this dog has never been to a groomer the hair from the ears has never been picked so I don't know how he will react he seems to be a great boy, great dog so hopefully he will stay that way and everything will work out fine but I'll have to get that hair out it's just something I have to do because it can cause ear infection and probably this dog has a problem hearing with his ears being filled with hair you can see this matting is just crazy I'm going to take the template for that <coughs> Guys, the bigger the, the number of the blade, the shorter the blade is and it is safer to use. That's why in some areas we groomers use shorter blades. You can see, you cannot brush this out. Even if you can, it's better to take it out. blade again it is not warm because I sprayed it with a spray that disinfects, lubricates and cools the blade and guys also the bigger the blade is the longer it takes to get warm Okay, <clears throat> guys, this is great, great behaving, not just for a dog that is being groomed for the first time, but for any dog, he's just cooperating, he's not he's complaining, he's, see his sister trying to protect him, <laughs> okay. Guys, this is the first shave done before the bath. I'm going to shave him again after. I just need him to stand up now so I can groom his legs. <laughs>
Okay. I'm always checking that if the dog has that fifth nail on the back feet because I don't want to press it with the clipper. Okay, I'm going to take the template for the sanitary area. Okay, I'm going to do this area later because it is dirty and for now I'm just going to take this baby powder and put it on his private area to stop the irritation he may get because he's not used to it, he can get itchy and I know that this can help. Okay. Now I'm going to do the nails. I'm taking this Showtech nail clipper. Hopefully he'll stay fine for the nails. He's such a good boy guys.
Okay, the nails are fine. I'm going to take the 50 blade and do the pop pads. See, he does not like that. Okay, just in case, I'm going to take this plastic and put it on his head. I used this plastic before on other dogs. Just to get the ears out. You can see it's not choking him, he can breathe, he can open his mouth, but he cannot bite because that plastic will protect me, I'm safer, I'm more relaxed when he has that on. Okay. Guys, we shave this area between the paw pads because it gets dirty when the dog is out. The mud, the dirt, or the sand, anything. Other dogs poop can stick to it. That's why I want to shave. It also increases the friction, makes the paws less slippery. You can see this is not too tight at all, it's probably not tight enough, but it is a kind of protection. Okay, okay, okay. Good boy. Guys, this does not hurt. He's just not used to it. I could, I could make it tighter, but I have only one paw left. It's okay. Okay, we are done with that. I'm just going to take this off very easily. And now comes the hardest part, which are the ears. And I don't know honestly how he will react. I'm just going to pull little by little.
is just too much here but it has to be done guys okay i'm going to take the ear powder because that here is slippery This here ear powder makes the hair less slippery. Boy. I know that this is painful for him, but I just have to do it. I'll just have to pull it in one Okay, this will take a while. I don't want to carry him. Luckily, he isn't, he isn't aggressive. It's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> there is just no way that I can pull it little by little because it's all tied together that hard so it is unpleasant it is a little painful but it's for his own good. And this here I'm going to clip it because it's not from the ear channel, channel, ear canal, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to take the 15 blade.
Guys, this, this dog should be given a gold medal for patient, for being a super dog. There is little here left. And I'm going to take the hemostats for that. This is a cotton wool with ethanol. I'm just going to take one more piece of cotton wool to dry this off. Guys, this is a cell phone for thumbnails. It is a Samsung S8 Plus. It's my old, my girlfriend's old phone, and I use it only for thumbnails. These are the hemostats. They are used in surgeries to sew, to hold the needle while the surgeon is sewing the wound. And we groomers use it to pick this here. Okay, this is fine for this year. There is a little few hairs left, but I'm going to leave it because it's much better than it was. As you can see, it's not going to make him a problem. And I don't want to stress him out more than I need. And this ear looks even worse. You can see this here from the ear shell is tied up with the this hair from the ear shell is tied up with the hair from the ear canal. So I'm just going to shave that around so it would be easier to pull it out. Okay, little by little. Okay, so little by little, as much as I can. You can see it is hard to pick little by little because it's all matted in one big How should I call it? One big mat. Guys, my English isn't that good, so I have to improvise sometimes. Guys, a lot of dogs would get aggressive for this. This is just amazing. Thank you.
You can see these Okay, the ears are done. They look great, much, much better than before. And they're not even infected. They're probably going to be itchy for him. And now I'm just going to get this hair shorter because I don't want to shave his ears, even though they are well matted. I just want to get it shorter so it will be easier to bathe it and to brush it later. Okay, I've done the before the bat part. I'm now going to uh, get him washed out, brush his head and the tail, and then I'm going to shave him again and do the head and the tail with scissors. I'm not going to film that, so I'll see you after the bath. Okay, so I finished bathing him and brushing his head and the tail. You can see he's all fluffy. And I'm going to shave him again now. And first I'm going to work around the paw pads, not the paw pads, the paws. That's normally the first thing I do after the bat. Okay, now I'm taking this liquor brush to brush this hair out. 
first I'm going to do with the fingers and to brush this hair between the fingers out Okay, I'm going to take the template now. <clears throat> okay, she is pooping. I'm gonna need to clean that up. Okay, now when I clean that up, I'm just going to finish this sanitary area. You can see there's some fear that I missed. Okay, and again I'm going to put some baby powder on his private area right away to make it less itchy for him, that's fine. And <clears throat> I'm taking saddle blade again and I'm going to shave him again. This dog is such a good boy, he was good while bathing and while drying. Which is great. It makes my job much easier when the dog is like that.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you can see his eyes now. Okay, he's starting to look better and better.
see how he's licking his nose all the time. I have to be very careful for him not to lick the scissors. So I'm keeping his mouth closed. <clears throat> Okay, he looks cute, he's going to do the ears. Okay, that here is done. And let's do the second one and we're done with him.
Okay guys, we are done. I am filming with my phone because my battery of GoPro went off and I think he looks cute. He's not matted anymore, his ears are clean, his nails are done and he's one great dog. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for supporting me, it means a lot and hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay, he's not interested. Yeah, he's begging his tail. He's fine. Okay, his sister is also done, this is her, she was also super super sweet. <laughs> he just can't wait to go home. He's had enough.